Hey y'all, I'm Megan and welcome back to our channel. In this AI series, I discuss the latest AI tools, how they work and what they can do for you. Today, we'll be discussing Meta AI and recent updates that have massively improved its capabilities and usability. Meta has just upgraded its AI offerings, launching a new version of Meta AI, which is integrated across the Meta portfolio, including Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, and WhatsApp. The real game changer here is the introduction of Llama 3. These models are not only improving Meta AI's response times, but also its ability to understand and generate human-like text. This is crucial because in the past, Meta AI sometimes felt sluggish and was less accurate compared to competitors like ChatGPT or Perplexity. After spending some time in the platform and testing out different use cases, I would say that while not perfect, the ease of access is really unmatched. So Meta is not just updating its technology, it's strategically placing itself in a competitive market with giants like Google and Microsoft in the mix. They're making AI tools part of their daily social media experiences. Now let's take a look in the platform to see what we can do. The first thing you'll notice is that there's six automated prompts in the conversation chat. And one thing to note is that you don't have to be logged in to use some of these tools. Over here in the left column, you'll see the new conversation tab and also the imagine tab. The imagine tab is for image generation and the new conversation is for text based questions and generating text. Some of the starter topics seem like they'll work. Let's see, make my email sound more professional. And here's my email. So it added in some pleasantries and it's actually really nice. It gave me a more formal version, which I feel like ChatGPT often gives me an over formalized version and I have to ask to make it a little bit more casual. Another thing we can try is uh, seeing what kind of content it can produce. So let's write a poem about it. That's pretty good. I haven't written poems in a whole lot of other platforms. Yeah, this has a decent length. Another feature that Meta AI can do is access real-time information including news and just recently posted stuff. Cool, so it's giving me an industry update and I can get more specific into the sources, which is nice. I appreciate being able to go validate whatever source it is that I'm taking my information from. Summarize greatest advances in medical AI. Okay, so it's again using the search feature. This was really good. It just gave me all of these different areas and a little blurb about each of them. So that was a cool result. It can also generate code, though it's not going to really compete with ChatGPT on that front as that's not really its main use case. We can now take a look at image generation, the imagine feature. We could use one of these presets, but I think testing it with something custom will be a little more interesting. The Sandia Mountains with, with Roadrunners about. Wow, that was really cool. It was dynamically updating it as I was typing. And this also looks very accurate. Design a logo for my profit. These are not bad. I would say they're possibly a little bit better than um, logo designs that I've gotten from ChatGPT. I want to try one more thing in my conversation. So I'm going to ask to help do marketing strategy. Put an SEO strategy together for my candle making business. Also create a 30 day marketing plan. This is pretty thorough and not the sort of strategic planning that I've been able to get from other AI tools. So those are just some of the things you can do with Meta AI if you're just a person trying to get things done in your day to day or you have business use cases, there's probably something that this technology can provide for most people. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful or you learned something new. If you liked this content, please like and subscribe to our channel for more of it. Thanks.